Aleti Yasu from Forum for Environment Ethiopia. I'm here with Khan International, co-chairing the Finance Working Group, and I'm also one of the Southern Capacity Building Fellows. We're here in Panama, which is the last meeting before the COP17, that is the Durban meeting of the Conference of Parties, which is going to be in South Africa, which makes it a more important COP for us, coming from Africa. This COP17 is going to be will have to be the African COP. When saying that we Africans and also coming from this developing country are the most vulnerable who are being affected and also will be affected by the adverse impact of climate change. Therefore we need to, be, to adapt to this changing climate and also there should be some kind of uh, mechanism to mitigate some climate change mitigate climate change, both from the developed countries and also from developing countries. So here I'm following the finance issue, and in finance, we developing countries need some finance for adaptation and also mitigation actions, which has been agreed, on, agreed upon in Copenhagen and also in Cancun. Developed countries have agreed to give at 10 billion per year for the years from 2010 to 2012 and also to scale it up to 100 billion per year by 2020. Now we're at the end of 2011 and the fast start finance will finish by 2012. So we need a commitment from developed countries to scale up their climate finance starting from 2030 so that there will be no gap of climate finance. And also there should be a discussion on long-term finance, which is not happening here, while the countries such as the US and some members of the umbrella are blocking the discussion on long-term finance. We need to discuss what the long-term finance will look like so that we can have confidence and also to work towards our adaptation and mitigation actions. And now in Panama we need to have a text on long-term finance and also other issues on finance. And we're really looking working hard to have the text here to be approved in Canada.